Hello, and welcome to the ECG Music Monitoring System, where we'll discuss the effects of music and the heart rate. Heart rate is defined as the number of heart contractions or heartbeats per unit time. The typical units for a heart rate are beats per minute or BPM. Heart rates less than 60 beats per minute are classified as bradycardia and what is considered normal is heart rates between 60 and 100 beats per minute. Heart rates greater than 100 beats per minute are classified as tachycardia. Some complications associated with tachycardia or heart rates that are greater than 100 beats per minute are atherosclerosis, sudden death, or increased risk of dying from cardiovascular disease. Additionally, there has been evidence linking fast resting heart rates with the development of high blood pressure for the past 60 years. Some previous research has been done to analyze the actual effects of these complications. One study, published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, revealed the statistically significant positive trend between relative risk of death and resting heart rate. In other words, a higher resting heart rate corresponded to a higher relative risk of death. This study included data collected for 5,713 men without known or suspected heart disease. There was also a paper that came out this year, 2015, that performed a meta-analysis of 23 studies reporting on over 30,000 deaths. The y-axis is a relative risk of all-cause mortality and the relative risk of CV mortality in A and B, respectively. And in the x-axis is the resting heart rate and BPM. In the end, they also concluded that in the general population, resting heart rate was associated with risk of all-cause and cardiovascular mortality, independent of traditional cardiovascular risk factors. Therefore, it's a good thing to have a low resting heart rate, because then you decrease your chances of having cardiovascular disease. Or dying! So the problem is a high resting heart rate, and our goal is to decrease the resting heart rate. How are we going to do this? Our approach is music. Studies have shown that the cardiovascular system can actually mirror musical tempo. Faster songs increase the heart rate and constriction, and slower songs relax and slow the heart rate. Here's the basic block diagram. The heart rate will come from the user, and the heart rate will be detected by reading the circuit using the ECG system that we developed. This will be monitored using LabVIEW and Arduino. Next, we've handpicked a database of songs for each BPM that the device will play to reflect the tempo of the heartbeat. After a song is then played, the device will continue monitoring. In order to accomplish this, we used an ECG reader circuit that read in the user's heart rate by surface electrodes. We used an Arduino to communicate with the ECG by relaying the signal to the computer. For software, we used LabVIEW to do some signal processing and provide a useful graphic user interface. Our program is classified into two modes of operations. The adaptive mode plays music at the same BPM corresponding to the heart rate of the user. The target mode allows the user to select a target heart rate and play songs at their respective BPM. Here is an example of the LabVIEW user interface. Here, the music is simulated to show what the user would be listening to. Notice that on the adaptive mode, the song will change according to the BPM. This is an example of the target mode. Notice how the overall BPM decreases from 68 to 62 beats per minute.
In the development of our program, some technical challenges needed to be overcome. For example, LabVIEW only works with WAVE audio files. Therefore, we needed to convert our entire song database. Also, in the adaptive mode, we needed to decide when to change the song corresponding to the user's heartbeat. Changing the song too quickly would interrupt the user experience, while leaving the song to play for too long would be unstimulating. In the end, we decided to let the user choose and decide when to change the song. Finally, one of the major challenges was getting LabVIEW to simultaneously play the sound file while also recording the ECG input. To overcome this, we use multiple threads to simultaneously run each section of the code at the same time. From our project, we are able to conclude that music does have an influence on heart rate. Playing slower songs reduced the heart rate, while playing faster tempo songs increased the heart rate. However, these changes were only relative and did not exactly match the tempo of the songs played. Some future work for the project is determining the significance of musical influence on the heartbeat. Specifically, how much can music alter the current heart rate, and is there a limit to the extent? Additionally, the differences of relative tempo versus absolute tempo could be researched. For example, when slowing the heart, is there a certain threshold that the music BPM has to meet, or is it just playing a song that is relatively slower than the heartbeat? Additionally, we would like to research the effects of different types of genres of music. Is user preference toward a song more influential on the resting heart rate? Finally, the user interface can be improved by expanding the music database as well as allowing the user to select the type of genre and types of songs they would like to listen to.